Hello everybody, I thought I'd show you how to um, make these today, um, uh, it's not my idea, I saw a video it come up on my, oh, I don't know, through the night, a few nights ago, it's alright, I'm just bringing it up so I remember her name, and um, so I have to look in my history, and then I go back and like the video, because <laughs> sometimes I fall asleep, you know, when I'm watching it, and I'm like, I saw this, and I thought, oh my gosh, I've got to go back, it's absolutely, I loved it. And, um, you know, because I like my specimen cars and this was different to what I've been doing and I thought I would give it a go. Mine's slightly different because I didn't have exactly the same as hers, so which is all good. I made do with what I had. Um, ones I show you today, I'm going to show you two different sorts. I'm going to show you the horizontal one and that. Um, anyway, if you look at her video, she done this bit sort of like quite squarish. And this was quite a quite a big win window, and then it was smaller window in the back. But I've done it my this way, my way, because we I do change things around. Um, but all the magnets and everything is in the same place, and the concept is exactly the same. Um, she uses two lots of foam in here. I use one because I want one. I wanted to sew it. Plus, I cut through all together except you know well, i'll show you in a minute rather than do it all separate i'd like to do all that when i'm cutting through the same at the back i like everything to be lined up because i've done it singly you know i cut through that bit then i done that bit and it, to be honest it's not exactly right but that's why i went round with the black marker there but i actually would do that again because i really like that I would definitely do that again because I like that framing, what we've done. So, enough talking about it. Let's let's get on. Right, you need some card. I mean, look, I've cut out loads because I'm going to do a load of them because I loved it that much. Okay, I'm going to do loads. <laughs> so, but I'm going to show you from the beginning. I've got two here. Okay, so the card I got was five and a half but doesn't matter that could be six it could be seven it's up, really up to you or it could be five it doesn't matter it's up to you i've got this sort of card because i've got a lot of it because i used to um, make cards with these so i've actually got quite a bit of this um i done it it's ten and a half right but plus one so i think that's ten and five eighths in it one two three four five yeah so ten and five eighths what that is is about 270 millimetres by five and a half millimetres. I have no idea. Sorry. 142, is it? Something like that. Yeah, something like that. 140, perhaps. I don't know. I can't see the little lines. <laughs> I do need a new ruler. <laughs> it's very old, that one, but it's been with me for about 15 years. So... And I do mine on a scoreboard, but if you haven't got a scoreboard, then you do it how you normally do it. I've got a little one and a big one, because again, I used to be a card maker, so these sort of things were just, you just had to have, really. Okay, and the first score line, I'm doing mine three and a half inches wide, yeah. And I sh you'll see where the eighth comes in in a minute, that's why... It's not just ten and a half, so so you do three and a half. And school there, yeah, seven, yeah, and this is where I do my eighth. Right, she done quarter, so she done two notches. Yeah, I don't want it as wide as that because she used again. She used two lots of foam. I'm doing one lot, okay, so I can sew it and. Not too thick, so I'm doing just one eighth. Okay, that's it. And if you're doing it from an A4, you can do it from an A4 and then just score again at ten and five eighths and then cut the rest off. That's what I do, but I'd already cut them all to size, so and that's it with the scoreboard. Then you burnish your score lines. Yeah, sometimes, right? Which I'll just show you because that meets that score line there, right? Now, 
I do always do this after. I don't know why I find it better. So you just need to take off a slither right, so it doesn't touch the score line. Okay. So that now is just about a mil, okay, away from that score line. I just find it to do all my all my um, measuring, then all my scoring, and then I will just take go along and take a mill off all the ones that I need to do there. Right, so that's there, and then here we do it on the nearest one to there, the score line. It just gives us a bit of space for what we're going to do. So it's there, yep. And then do it again. Oh, sorry, her name was Dita Benina. So, like I say, I'll put all the everything below. Of course, I will. Um, I've, like, I've never never watched it before or anything, but it come up on the video at night, and oh, I would like that. I'm into my specimen cards. <laughs> okay, right. So that. That is the back, so that's going to be actually folded inwards. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Okay, so it's going to go like this. Yep. And this is the back. Right, the next thing you've got to do is do your die cutting. I shall show you that as well because I've got to cut the tips on what I do. Right, okay. I Like I said, I do mine all together. So you need another piece of card and a piece of foam. I use all my dark colours. Foam. This is just that craft, I don't know, um, kids' foam. You know, you can make them into stamps and things. And die cut. It cuts really well. Die cuts really well. Okay, so that is that is all but the same size as that. Okay, you, you will find that sometimes you do need to trim off a little bit. Okay, I've cut them all the same le length, but foam is most peculiar because... It just seems to stretch sometimes, so but it doesn't matter. You can alter afterwards, yeah, because once you line that up, you can then trim everything. So just don't worry. I cut it all the same length, all right? And this, a millimetre each side shorter, all right, just so that it doesn't touch in there. But again, you can do that after. It's no problem, all right? So... That's that piece of card, and then one more piece of card, same width and height as that, and a piece of foam with a millimetre, sort of shorter each side. I mean, you can go in and cut that. Right, I could and just cut that now, so it's a bit shorter, really. I actually like cutting it. It's quite, um, it's got a nice feel to cutting it. It doesn't matter if it's wonky or anything, because you don't see it. So cut that bit shorter. I say I go ahead and do look, you know, all at the same time. Then I haven't got to worry. So I've got this ready for my for when I do my die cutting because the next bit I die cut everything as well. I sit there then for an hour, you know, die cutting everything. My big shot. You just excuse my lovely wart blades. Not blades plates. I'm going to see if I'm in shot a minute. I have no idea. I might have to zoom out a bit for this. You might see my mess. <laughs> I can't hide my mess. Well, that's all right. Okay. And I'll, I'll stand up and do this, I think. Right. So that I've got my um, thing on there. Right. The, the dies I've used, I've got one. That's the one I used on that. They're all Sizzix. I don't know the name of that because that's an old one. Um, then I've got this one here, which is another Sizzix one. But that's a recent one. I should have the packaging for that. Here we go. So, like I say, I'll keep it now. So, it's that one there. Okay, which is 662695. Yeah, I get this sort of thing when they have sale. 
I go along and have a look, see what's in You know, because you might think, oh, do I need that? But these are the sort of ones that are, might not look much, but they're good to have. So I've used, not the smallest, second second one in, I think. I'm not sure. Might be the smallest, can't remember. I shall give you the measurements. Two and a half by two. Okay, but it, it'll be shorter than that, narrower than that, because that's the outside of the, the blade bit. Right, then you get your card. I don't do all of it together. I'll do the first bit. So where the double score line is, is the back, okay? And this is going to go in that way. Yeah. So I flip over. This is going to be the front. Yeah. I'll put that down there. Advisable to have your two bits of masking tape like I've done there. Not touching inside there. Just so that you can keep lifting it up and putting back down. Yeah. Without having to take your hands off. Right now, I eyeball this. Okay. But if you're one to... To measure, measure away. So I'm stood above it so I can sort of see. That's fine, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried. Like sometimes you have to go a couple of times. I'm looking for my plate. Do we put it underneath? Sorry, folks. I have to do this again because I. Put it down somewhere. Right, hold on. I have another one. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. I was going to say, I don't really, because I keep these flat ones for the bottom and then it doesn't matter about the top so much. Okay. I'm just going to make sure it's the right way. I have to go that way. Let's say, put that on centralize that where you sort of want it like i said sometimes you, you might have to go through twice and flip it over because i'm going through both bits of card and this is 300 gsm i mean those these dies are pretty good actually i will say to go through that thicker card it used to be the the steel rule one you know the Oh, it did move. I'm just going to check coming up. Nope, we're all right. Just sort of move, just in case. Okay. Now, if my my machine's got seems to have quite a bit of pressure, but again, if it's missing it and not doing it, just put a piece of card in. You can do or a paper, anything. So you can just put that on the top and run it through. And it just gives an extra bit of pressure. Okay, I am going to just check. That's why the tape's on there as well, because if it's not gone through properly. Um, that's, that's not too bad. I think we're all right, actually. But I would just flip over. I'll just show you anyway. And then just send it through again. And also there's far more pressure at both sides. Okay, rather than the middle. It's a known fact. Right, so you take that off. And that, but I try and do it so that I keep it all on there. Okay. Right, so I've gone through both lots. Yep. So we know that's fine. Right, then you get your piece of card and foam. Okay. Square it as much as you can there. Okay. I place mine in here. Okay. And shut that. So I get it all in nicely. Yeah. Right. And this is what I do. I use the bit that we cut off. Don't need both. Okay. Just again, make sure that's all in nicely. Ah. A bit of what? A bit. Sometimes you need a bit of washi tape. So... I get ready a few bits. You can keep using this, these bits just in case. Sometimes you need a bit more than what's on there. So I'll just get that ready. 
Okay. And let's, let's make sure everything's square. Okay. But again, it doesn't really matter because you can cut off and alter. And then pop that back in. Yeah, hold it. Okay. And flip that way. Yeah, this is a bit where you've just got to keep hold of this. Yeah, now that move in, which I moved. I knew I would on screen. Gosh, I've done, like you saw how many I've done yesterday. Never had a problem. Yeah, make sure that's in first. That's, right, that's sat in there better. Okay, hold that. Yeah. Pick up your die. You just got to make sure you keep hold of that. Yeah, right. Now you'll you'll find that it'll it, it'll slip into place. This there we go, and it'll just sit where it should. All right, it just sort of you can feel it notch itself in. All right, then you make sure they're on nicely. Yeah, doesn't matter with that now okay and then you've got to take out this okay and put that in it's a it is a little bit fiddly but it saves all the measuring and all that sort of thing yeah okay so we take that away now and um, i go through both of these And you run that through. Okay. And it's gone through that and that. Okay, those bits I'll take off. Leave them on, yeah. So, we have to make some tickets out of those. So, now we've got those two bits that go into the card, which I can't find. <laughs> yeah, so again, you know. When you do this, like, you know, that has moved a bit, right? You can cut that off because none of that is seen, okay? So <laughs> you don't get too worried about it. I don't get too worried about it, okay? But that will be gone when we glue it all together. That's that one. All right, let's do one horizontal. Oh, I didn't even do that. Right, I'll just go and score this one because I haven't got any pre-scored. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to do it crossways, yeah. Or horizont horizontally. <laughs> okay, so again, find it. Yeah, I folded that in. That's the back with the two lines. That's the back, two score lines, yeah. Okay. So carefully take that off. Okay, if it's not got through, looks like it has anyway. Yeah. So. of the card and foam okay I'm gonna cut mine down a bit Place that in there, put that back in as though you were putting it in. Yep, 
and I'll sit down. <laughs> just need to angle that a little bit more. Okay. Put that back in. Yeah, just slip through. And then you'll you'll feel it. It will sit in lovely. I mean, I've put dies back in before, you know, and cut them. It just you just get it right. That would be better if I could see. Come on, I believe how easy this was. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So, and I'm just going to put one more bit on that. Okay, and lift up. It's not too much movement yet. And then take that out. Put it down. This is the hardest bit, yeah? You, when you do a lot, you get used to it. Okay, and it doesn't matter now about that. Take that out of there. Right, another little tip is keep everything together. When you've cut the, all these out, yeah, slip that in there, okay, and then you've done it, all right? Or else if they get mundled up, sometimes they don't line up so well. Okay, I'm hoping this one isn't so perfect, all right, just so that I can show you what I do. Um, I will glue that onto there we can do this this way or you can you can um do the magnet the magnet is quite important to get that in but i'm going to do this first just to show you okay and that can be dry in if you know what i mean so i'm just gonna spread the glue around that bit because i don't loads there okay and i line this up this is important that this is lined up okay because you can trim off anything that's overlapping which there is you see that's not important in there all right now it might be a suggestion to do the outline first just in case you go wrong but like I say you don't have to do this I actually quite liked it so and that because the knit is an indent of the actual die all the way around that slightly embosses there because of the amount of pressure going through two lots of card <coughs> but I actually quite like that. Okay, and I'll just colour in that. Lovely, I'll just need to clean up a little bit the finer one.
There we go. And I would do this bit as well. So I do exactly the same on the front bit. Right, so we should put the magnets in now. Okay, what I found, um, I, that my one, this original one, I put the magnet too low. Okay, so I'm going to actually come up. I want that there, and then that can be underneath, if you know what I mean. So I want the magnet to be about sort of halfway here. So it's got to go in here. Right, you open it out and I'm going to put the magnet just there and I use some double sided sticky tape to hold it in place. I'm halfway I think. Okay so that's going to go about will be about there all right <laughs> but that's where you put it there I've got these tiny ones I get them off eBay not eBay I actually got these off um, Amazon I think not very big they're very, very they're only about two mil is it something like that so I'm gonna put that there yep that's fine and cover that and I'll take this off later but just to cover that stickiness for a minute Ooh, missed a bit I don't want the card sticking together <laughs> so. okay and acetate now next so i've got all mine pre-cut okay and that that will go in there like that yeah, do that and then i'll put some sticky stuff on that bit there don't want it oozing out there. So, then do the same again. Let it come down here. off close that no oozing <laughs> okay so that's that bit done and then we could put in the back. Okay, looks like we will have to just trim off a bit, but that's fine. Okay, we need to put paper on there. Nearly forgot the paper. So that's all. I've already cut mine ready. What are we doing on that? Oh, we'll do a beetle on that one because I'm going to show you how to do those. So let's put a bit of, let's have a look bit different and yeah looks nice you can ink it up in that if you want but I don't think it was quite nice too oh <laughs> no I have, I'll have that one. <laughs> so. Bit of check, see if I like that. Yeah. Okay. 
now we can put this on yet. Yeah? I am sewing around mine, but let's say if you're not, make sure this is stuck down nicely. There we go. And you just got to make sure that it's nowhere near that there. I'm going to just come up a bit here in line because you can trim off this side, you see. Get that straight. Yeah, and that's why we've got this there for space. That's cool. Just to get a bit of glue there. Okay, anything? Well, there's not much, look. much at all just that little slither there yeah sometimes it'll fit perfectly sometimes it doesn't so you just run your scissors up along there like that okay I say I like mine glued, right? Because I actually don't like that hole. <laughs> Not glued. I like mine stitched. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch mine. Go through fine. I actually didn't think it would, but that's why. But that's one of the reasons why I didn't go for the actual. Um, what can I say? The the two two lots of foam. All right. Go ahead and stitch that. Right, okay, another thing I wanted to do, which I did forget, is to put a tab on the top. Okay, I would have liked my tab inside there, all right, which I'll try and remember to do it on the next one. Okay, I've cut some of these big ones out. Well, punched them out. These ones here. Okay, but I'm going to put it on for a stitch. So, I had one done with a nameplate on it and everything but no idea where it is okay yeah i just think that would have looked so nice if it was tucked in actually i'm going to leave that one i'll do it on the other let me just put that there i'll put it in here oh, there it is just put one of them, um, cut one of Tracy's labels up and put that on there. Got a few of her labels there, brilliant. Like I've got the, the stamps, as you know, the Tim Holt stamps as well. So, right, so if I put that one on there, hope she, hopefully I won't forget. <laughs> and we'll leave this one plain. Okay, that's it. All right, stitched up. Actually, I think that could do with um, black outline looking at it. Did I do it on that one? No, I didn't. Yeah, I think it's all right once it's inked. Should have been inked before, really, but it's okay. I'll get a wet wipe and that'll wipe off of there, so. Okay, and I'm gonna just ink up everywhere. I'm using vintage photo. I mean, you can scuff them all up as well. I think they look lovely with a tab top. But like I said, I wanted that to go inside. Mind you, I suppose one would be all right if it was the same colour as this. I don't know, it's just... I might put it there. Oh, I don't know. Not without it being inside the two covers. 
which I will do it, I promise. <laughs> and that's that. Now, if you want to sort of like um, make it look a bit, you know, grungy, then you could just sort of spritz water a little bit and then dry it off. But I'm, I'm quite happy with where that's looking. Uh, stamping, right, you just need to get some stamps like a little text stamp and this this one is from um who's that from that's tim holtz that's it comes with the mushrooms if i remember rightly all right just having a look at what i've done yeah i did use some of my own as well so okay right i've got loads of stamps here got some tim, tim holtz some of my own okay i quite like these i've just done these yeah, I've just done some more actually, some um, postal ones. Have I got them on there? Yeah, I'll show you them. It's just I, um, I haven't stuck them on the acrylic yet because I'm experimenting. Yeah, so I, the, these are going to be have stamps on. But I only had three mil acrylic, so I had to stick two lots together. So I don't didn't like that idea. I've done special handling, fragile, that one there. And do not handle one. And I put fragile on its own. And I've also got handle with care. So that one there. So I'm quite pleased with those. Like I say, I'm getting there with my stamp. So I know this was on bits of wood. And I stamped it even with the wood uh, ink. And it's still bled, look. So but I'm going to use those today. Uh, just use any stamp you want. It's just that, you know, I've just made them, so I'm going to use them. <laughs> um, I'm going to use Coffee Crunch. And I will use the Tim Holtz one as well. So start off inside. I don't want it too dark. It's literally just to give it a bit of background. Yep. Yeah. this Okay, and we'll do the closure. Okay, and put the. Oh yeah, sorry. I'll show you how to emboss the bugs now. Okay, so the video's come in for that now because I've done that yesterday. Okay. Okay, I thought I'd show you just what I do with the the beetles. Um, this will be in between most probably what I'm showing you. I'm doing. I'm just doing this a different day. Um, yeah, so I stamped and cut out loads. Of, I didn't stamp them all, actually, only a few. That's the framelets die I got. It's 663068, okay? And I cut them from some, like, collage sheets, okay? Because I quite like the effects, you know, of, of the... You can see the writing underneath and that sort of thing. And I quite like that. Um, some like that one I didn't stamp that one I did I don't think I'd stamp that one I'd only stamped a few because I thought it was working out all right whereas that one's not stamped but that one is so I thought I'd just show you how I'm coloring them I will emboss them as well all right but I thought well I can't show you know show you them all because it takes this time consuming so I tended to sort of follow the colors on here really sort of you know, with what I had, I've got permanent markers because this is, um, oh, I stamp with stays on because this was one of the ones that I Mod Podged. Okay, I don't sort of use that now. now. I use either gel medium or the collage medium from Tim Holtz. Um, right, so I've coloured the bats because that was bright orange. <laughs> Oops. So I just put them. Um, black paint on that but you can do it with this 
um, the legs and that I've been doing sort of black and where I sort of um, the black is on here I've been filling in just a little bit more these are permanent markers um, these ones are my really old ones so I don't mind if I, I I bleed, you know, I bleed with them, if you know what I mean. I'll sort of drag out other colours with them and things like that. I'm, you know, I wouldn't suggest you do that with your new ones, if you've got new ones. Or this is actually running out now. Okay. Yeah, not much left on that one. It's might be some on the other side. I'll show you what I mean about bleeding out in a minute. What colour should we do this one? Alright, that's what I mean, you see the tips, but you can get rid of it, but like I say, I'm not um, worrying too much. So let's sort of bring that black into it. some funky little beetles <laughs> we add our color oh purple let's do that one yeah these look good purple i think That's all I'm doing. Right, so I'll, I'll show you how to emboss one, but it's not going to be any different to what I normally do. I've done loads of embossing videos, so this one is uh, broke, I think. Top won't go on properly. Right, so I'll get that ready and I'll show you one of them and then I'll go ahead and do the rest off camera, of course, but... Okay, I just picked up, what one's this? Fossilised Amber. I'm using that one. It's, they're, they're lovely, actually, for going over things. It just gives a fine hint of a colour, but it won't show up on these. Of course it won't. So let's do a nice big one for you. So let's put them in. Should just do one. shot of this. I'm just going to heat this up. Oh. 
Off. There we go. All done. Yep. Really like them, and you can just sort of mould them a little bit before they get too cold. Okay, so they look quite nice then if they're just raised up a little bit. Okay. There we go. All done. Don't they look good? I, I quite like the fact because I only do them once and it does sometimes create a bit of a pitted effect, as you know, because sometimes you need to do it twice. But I think with this sort of thing, I think it looks good. That it makes them look actually realistic. So there we go. Perfect. You don't need the stamp set, really. I would say yes to the die set because there's no way I'd cut them out. So, but you really don't, you know, need the stamp set. You can quite easily colour them in. No problem at all. Okay, you wouldn't know which ones are stamped and which ones wasn't here. So, ideal. There we go. So that's that done. Right. You would have seen the bugs. <laughs> it's funny doing it that way. It's just, um, yeah, so I'd done just loads yesterday and put a video up. And I thought it was so cute. Right, okay. So, I actually quite like that one because that's got a bit of pink in to go with that bit of sort of pinky in there. Yeah. And I'm going to sit in like that. It's perfect. And what I've done is I've just shaped them a little bit. Okay, just gently. Again, if it cracks, but I've only got one layer of embossing powder, so they don't tend to crack then. But if they do, just heat them up again. Yeah, and I'm going to put a strip of foam tape in the middle. Okay, now I'll glue mine in because they lose their stickiness. Okay. And peel that off. It's going to move until I... I'll just peel this off now, actually. Okay, I'm trying to do it all together. I put glue on the top and then I glue these bits. I'm not going to. I'm not going to glue that down because that looks nice like that. I'm just going to glue the legs, legs down. Put the head up. in there perfectly yep let's let's do the the closure okay i had um this is the only one i had that was sort of would do so i sort of made a closure out of that really okay so i cut 
two lot out of two different colors just for a bit of difference okay so the first thing we've got to do is make sure we have the magnet going the right way of course so let him go on there yeah so I'll put these together first that way So it's going to be stuck down like that. So you drag that off and then put that there. And then getting stuck to <laughs> like me. It's, okay. Another bit of tape. So it's still drying check there we go that's in the right place yeah because you can change it now if you don't get your magnet in the right place so i've done it loads of times <laughs> not to paying attention okay and then I'll cover all that with another one of those Preferably leave that to dry for a bit. So what I'm going to do while that's drying is just do a bit more stamping. Yeah. So you, you stamp loads of things out of your stamps and then, because I've got the Tim Holtz stuff, so I've um, stamped them out onto bits of paper so we can rip them up. It's like the collect bit I took out of here. I didn't want the whole thing. Can't use it. I need to clean them before I use them. Really. So that's just the Tim Holtz uh, field notes. It's called. Let's cut that out a minute. worried too much about how it cuts out I think I'm just gonna sort of screw up that end a bit I know I've done the other one in black but I'm doing this this one's done in brown so I'm gonna put that there just give that closure time to dry a little bit again the specimen is on his stamp somewhere as well but it's with something else And then we've got some of the field label, but I don't think I've done any of that. So, all right, let's do a bit of stamping. Um, I want this one, it's the only one I've got. I've done loads of other. So, 
but I haven't got that one. I know I've done the other one in brown, this one in black, but this this paper's a little bit darker, so I'm not sure whether it'll show up. Okay, and I just want the field label bit, so I'm going to cut above there. And again, one of the traces on some of these, I'm going to use Tracy Fox's labels. Absolutely perfect for this. So, I'm into me stamping at the moment. Okay, right, so just do a bit more stamping around there. Let me use this one. Think about anything for this one? Oh yeah, let's put that on there. Yeah, I need so many blocks. <laughs> I really do. Because <laughs> using all these tiny little stamps, you need oh my god, loads of little blocks, which I haven't got. I need to make some. You have to be careful doing this, right? So there we go. <laughs> I thought I needed a block that I could actually see through, and I don't want to take that one off of there. And on all, any of these, and I quite like that as well. Do not, I'm going to put one there. take that off so i'm going to score that i'm going to 
have to come up. Oh, I might be all right. I bet I'm going to miss that, aren't I? Yes. Okay. Now I see the I see the line there. go let's have a look it should be quarter of an inch um not quarter of an inch um eighth of an inch because that's what we've done but i'm gonna leave it just a little bit longer because i think it just gives it a bit more room so i'm gonna go to just Do its thing and then that should bend around there now nicely okay yeah definitely needed that little bit of extra and then we glue that on there And we can do a bit more stamping. I'm going to use that lovely little stamp on the front because I really like it. Um, I'm going to do that in black. Nice one. And I'm going to get down there. Actually, I need something here, don't we? I think I'll go over there this time. How it all changes. There. Yeah, so I sort of shoot around a bit because when I'm waiting for things to dry and then I get on with something else, that's, you know, that's the sort of thing I do because, well, I should forever waiting for it, things to dry. Just ink up that a little bit more. On the back what should we have on the back put this one here yeah see how that that wasn't wood um ink that was something else and see how bad that is Don't like that at all. Know that. <laughs> so I am going to go over that again in a minute. I'm going to put a label there. It's <laughs> a messed up again. Just don't. Today it's been horrendous. I tell you what. Fragile. Hand it again. <laughs> Do not drop. Okay. to show you my correction
perfect see we can get over it can't we where's me stamp Okay, yeah, actually, I really like that now. <laughs> it just shows you, doesn't it, by doing a, something wrong that, you know, you end up doing something else and sometimes for the better. Right, so that's that, that there. We still add, oh, I've got to do the, um, no, do the stamp there. It's a nice small one. And I think we're done. So I'll just go ahead and do the other one show you what I mean about the um watch my fingers now because they've got ink on them um putting the file folder top on all right was there any more okay I think the number there will look nice Tim Holtz, where's your numbers? Okay. Right, so that one's done, I think. Yeah. I've got a bit of ink now. Look. There we go. But that's all right because I can mess that up a bit more. There, yeah, getting too inky now. That's the trouble. And then you start smudging everywhere. Right, so I'll get the other one, do that. And then I'm going to go and do loads of them. Really pleased with that. I love that. I love this. But <laughs> that's great. And I like that. That's cool. Right, okay. I've um, done that. And I've done that on as well and i've also done exactly the same with the watermarks on that one okay so that's ready all right i must remember to, to put this in before i continue so i'm gonna use that one there because this one i think i'm gonna do a leaf because it can go in my autumn journal i mean bugs could go in as well but i'm gonna keep that for something else just check for us to get down. Quite like that there. Like that. Yep. Okay, and must remember to put this in. So just cut a tab, whatever ones you've got. Um, I've used the Tracy Fox label there. Just cut it down so it fitted in there. And I'm going to have it that side, I think. But I'm going to trap it inside here. So just stick out the top. Do that closed a minute. Okay. Let's see where I'm going. It's going to be here. <laughs> Didn't need to put the glue on that bit until I've done the acetate. So I'll put the acetate in now.
right so i'll stitch mine the same as before okay it's not in straight but it doesn't matter there we go there i'll stick that in exactly the same as the other one and then we'll come back once it's stitched okay okay so it's all stitched around all right that's taken in and then that's on the top which i really like and uh, this one i'm gonna have i'm not sure whether that will go these i done last year that oh, it still looks really good but i'm gonna do a leaf i think yeah i'm gonna do that one so again i'll put the 3d foam in the middle might be a bit wide yeah yeah let's just go into sort of bend them a bit Okay, with handling that one, it's lost its shine a bit. So what I'm going to do is just heat it a bit. It just brings back the shine, yeah? It's nice and shiny now. It's the, the wax and oil from your skin, you know, with handling things like that. And they can go a bit dull, same as that one. It's gone quite dull. There we go. And then just do exactly the same. I'm going to leave that for a minute to dry. Okay, do the exactly the same as the other one. I'm going to go and get on now and do them all because I'm going to do them, you know, all, like I'll do all six with, um, what can I say, you know, all together. So I'll do six of these all together and then I'll do all the stages all together. So I'll go ahead and do that because then they won't take me very long because I've got everything out. And then I'll do all the stamping together and all the that sort of thing. Yeah, let's see, it should be dry now. It's still a bit warm, so I'm going to leave it for a minute and then do all the catches together, everything. All right, and I'll be back to show you when they're all done. Right, so I've finished them all, so I thought I would um, put this down to show you because they stand out better. And there they are. Okay. So stamped, done a bit more to them, and they open up. And that's the inside. And what I've done on the inside, I've I used the bigger die, and then cut round there. So I never thought of doing that at the beginning. I used to do that with card making years ago, and totally forgot about that technique. So I've covered over the bit that I drew around and done it that way. With the you know you just get the next die up and cut out loads and, and I covered them all and I think that looks a bit more professional <laughs> if you know what I mean but again doesn't matter does it but and there's the back that's that one all very similar okay and there's the back Okay. I've done the leaf one to go in my autumn journal. Oh, and uh, I think that's Tracy Fox's one of her labels. They work. They will work, work. They will work brilliantly with these. But I wanted to use the stamp, so that's a good good excuse to use those. That's it. Okay. 
Okay. That's another one, Tracy's. There's a butterfly one. I've done these last year, so it's like the leaves I've done last year. Yeah, these ones I've done. Shouldn't say that on there, actually. <laughs> Never mind. Never give it a thought. And these are the like the prototype ones I've done without the file top. But they look good too. So I just use bits of washi tape as well in places. Another leaf. And a butterfly. Didn't have many butterflies left, actually. So it looks like I've got to do a few more of those. <laughs> That's another Tracy label there. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I thoroughly enjoyed making those. Really did. So, yeah, I think they look good all together. <laughs> Loads of them. <laughs> okay, then. Well, thank you very much for watching and speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.